Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Graham. And my name is Rob. And this is Simple Diversion. <sighs> Happy spring. Happy spring. It's about time. It's Finally here. Air, or, air five. April. <laughs> what, April 24th? 5th? 6th. April 26th. As we film, it is April oh. 26th. We're finally getting another cigar for you. I know we've had a couple videos on how to set up a, a wine door as well as the new CC100H. Good job, so we've, we've done cigar videos, but we haven't been able to just smoke a cigar right. for quite a while. So, we're getting back at it. What we have here is the La Galera. La Galera. La Galera, or La Galera for you Americans. We don't have it. It doesn't just roll off the tongue. Well, it's a Dominican Republic okay. cigar Dominican. with a... Habano Ecuadorian wrapper. Okay. So they they do make a Maduro. This is the Habano. Okay. I like the the label. There's a lot going on. It's very old school. Very um, well, you can tell lots of craftsmanship went into it. Lots of thought. Looks like wallpaper in a. Uh, it does. At like a An old Victorian 18... house. The size is El Lector or El Toro. El Lector. Toro size. They have their own names for each size. Okay. And that's going to be a 6 by 54 inch ring gauge. This is about the biggest ring gauge I go that I'm comfortable with. Otherwise, they tend to get a little bit too big and yeah. not all about that. So this is about my my max. Okay. It is going to be a full body, medium strength. <laughs> <laughs> Who said it? <laughs> and it has a single cap, but it looks like a it's a big cap. I mean, I don't think we got to worry about cutting that thing off. It's not oh, like yeah. a padron. Yeah. It's got this band at the bottom, which is on there pretty good. Uh, All right, let's get this bad boy cut up. Neither of us have had this cigar or this brand ever. So this is a first for both of us. Uh, we thought about doing a how to smoke cigar video, but I don't think we know how. <laughs> well, we don't know how, so we're just going to stick to smoking cigars. On the foot, yeah, I get like a barnyard aroma. I think I just cut my finger off. But it smells like a like a horse ranch. Horse ranch? Like a like a horse farm, not like a normal dairy farm or anything like that with you know cows and anything. It smells like horses, like hay. Kind of the aroma that I remember makes me uh, think of a <clears throat> horse farm or horse ranch. It smells like a barn before the horses <coughs> and the cows poop. Yes. Like a clean farm. Now on the dry draw. It's kind of sweet. Very good. Got a little taste of wine. I just feel really low. <laughs> like looking over the table oh. at you. <laughs> Uh, it feels good to be out here without coats on and hats. We got, um, in the middle of April, we got another, what, total, we had two snowfalls, probably a total of like 10 inches. <laughs> we just could not shake winter here in the good state of Wisconsin. Finally, we're in the 60s. Finally, spring has come back probably what it is to came. Wisconsin. <laughs> we do have some Russell's Reserve bourbon. We are not going to drink that right away. We want to get the flavors for you, and then we'll hop into that and see how that pairing goes. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can leave. Just kidding. Don't go. Off the first couple of draws, it's very spicy and peppery on my palate. With some woodiness. Dry. But definitely want to get into it a couple draws here and see how those flavors evolve. Very, very toasty. Yes. Like somebody just put my tongue in the toaster. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you want to smoke cigars, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> got my uh, whiskey in the six hat. I got from uh, whiskey in the six. <laughs> Came in the uh, yesterday, and so thought I'd wear it in our next video, which is now. 
And I have my North Face hoodie, which I got from North Face. <laughs> but yeah, go go check out uh, North Face's YouTube channel and also Whiskey in the Six. <sighs> what does Whiskey yes. in the Six do? Well, he's he's uh, he's got a whiskey channel. He reviews <laughs> whiskey and does a lot of good live shows with other whiskey channels. And uh, yeah, does a that's a lot of good material. So really cool guy from Canada. Good stuff. I didn't realize how close Canada was to Wisconsin until like a couple Texas. years ago. <laughs> so you drove to Texas and realized Texas is like 10 times the distance. Because so I think we could drive like four hours, we could hit Canada. Really? If you go a certain way. Yeah, out towards Michigan. Yeah. And then you hit Toronto. Toronto's so close to Detroit, it's cr it's crazy. Oh. Um, hey, Whiskey in the Six, invite us to uh, Canada. We'll, we'll, we'll go. We could get some Cubans. Yeah. But their cigars, their taxes are insane. For whiskey and cigars. It's worth it though for it to be legal to get a cube in there. Oh, this is, this is nice though, having your... I like that. A little wobbly. That's very good. I like it. You can definitely tell it's a full body. I've, I've heard we're supposed to get some cream. But so far, and we're not very far in, but so far I'm getting very dry flavors, spice, pepper, a little yeah. bit of woodiness. It is dry. But it's, it's but dry. But dry isn't dry. bad. I really want to take a sip of this whiskey, but I don't yeah. want to. I want to wait until you get about <laughs> mid-stick. But I, I'm getting cotton mouth here. Yeah. Yeah, I had a single bag. Think they'll ever have a Trump cigar? Probably not, because he doesn't smoke cigars, huh? No. Just have a Kennedy cigar. He smoke? They do. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, John F. Kennedy loved um, Cubans. Huh. Do they have a uh, Darkest Hour cigar? Oh, the Churchills. <laughs> Kennedy loved the H. Upmans, the Canadian. Okay. Or the Canadian. The Cuban H. Upmans. And then once he put the embargo on Cuba the night before, he sent all of his henchmen out to buy out all the stores so he had his supply. Bastard. Oh. So you have Cuban brands like H. Upman, Cohiba, Monte Cristo, and then you have other brands of Cohiba, Red Dot. Monte Cristo, H. Upman, and people think they might be the same, or why? Why do they have Cuban ones? And yeah. they're actually two entirely different companies. But back in the day, um, the Cuban companies sold their rights, or didn't copyright their their names. I don't know if they sold the rights or didn't do the copyright. But so now you have these other brands that kind of piggyback off of the well-known. Oh yeah. H. Upman, and then they can have that same label right. or, or the same name and totally different. Yeah. Wow. So just FYI, Cohiba Red Dot, Monte Cristo and the H. Upmans are entirely different from the Cubans. When your dad tells you he's had a Cuban, he's lying. Or he just doesn't know. I'm to the point where I'm afraid to even try a Cuban because, <laughs> because it I, might be fake. I don't know if it's fake or, or yeah. not. And you see on like Cigar Cartel and yeah. they um, open Cigar them up Dojo, and like, like people, these proud guys are like, my yeah. first Cuban, and then everybody's like, fake, fake, yeah. fake, fake. Sorry, dude, you're smoking floor sweepings. Fake. Yep. Uh, and you're like, oh. When I hear it's more of just, uh, <laughs> just the thought of, oh, it's a Cuban, so it's good. But, you know, I heard they're not really that much better. Dominican Republic <sighs> and, and Nicaragua have come a long way in the past years to really even out the, the playing field. And Cubans are different, but they're not necessarily better. Yeah. And from what I've been told, Cubans are maybe a little bit more sweeter okay. flavors to them. I heard they're salty. Could be, yeah, that could be yeah, too. I heard they're really salty. Big night in uh, in Wisconsin. The Bucks are facing an elimination game, and we have the NFL draft. Yep, which we're all excited about. So we'll be watching that. Who do you think is going first? Let's have it on video. Sam Darnold. Who do you think? Well, since you said Darnold, I'll go with uh, Josh Rose. What if we're both wrong? All right, what's our backup? Saquon. My my backup's gonna be Baker Mayfield. Okay. So we will see. All right, we're gonna smoke this down a little bit, and then we'll come back at you with some Just cut it in half flavors. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. Good conversations were had here. Yes. And cigar talk. We are almost probably halfway through the cigar. Any flavor changes for you, Robbie? Robbie, Bobby. It is less uh, <laughs> spicy, less toasty. Yeah. Um, now it's, but now it's kind of just 
evening out. Yeah, it's not really, it's not as in your face like Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's a good cigar. I just, I'm not getting too much out of it. What about you? Getting that cream yet? I, it's getting there. I think it's starting to transition over. It's getting a little creamier. It's not as dry. Okay. Very thick, full flavor. Um, some sweetness with a hint of spice. Okay. And not so much woody flavors, but it's like kind of a little of everything. Yeah. I mean, a little cream, a little spice, a little sweetness, a little bit of the woodiness. We also are going to start pairing it with the Russell's yes. Reserve. <clears throat> Just want to shout out to Josh Johnson. Thank you very much for donating this bottle to us to test and review. Yeah, for sure. We'll be coming out with a review on it pretty soon. Hope to do that in the next couple weeks. Yeah. And for any of you that don't know, when we did our bourbon blind shootout, Russell's was what? Spoiler! Second or third favorite. Yeah, it was. Surprisingly. Never even had it before that. Yeah, surprisingly. We're like Russell's. <laughs> I don't know oh what wow, this is good. Later on in the spring, maybe early summer, I'm gonna get my humidor together, so we'll make a video on that. Uh, be the first time I'm, I'm actually putting it. You're gonna lead together. us in that one. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a fun video. <laughs> and then I put my cigars in here. <laughs> It'd be nice once I get into the new house and get everything situated and have my humidor right there at the bar. Birthday's coming up. Birthday's coming up. Yeah, for sure. You have 50 count, right? 50 count. Oh, that'll be easy to easy to fill up. Oh yeah. I want nothing but premiums. <laughs> ah, gas station full. Black and mild. <laughs> Those things do smell really good though. But oh man, they taste like junk. Take a sip of my water, and I will follow suit. And then I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna take a sip of my bourbon. I'm gonna pour some more bourbon. Oh, have you already been testing it with it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right after I gave the flavors, I started diving in. Rob, do you remember the price on this stick? Uh, I believe it's about seven bucks, right? Yep. MSRP is seven dollars. Okay. I bought this in the local <clears throat> brick and mortar, and I, I'm pretty sure I paid closer to ten, maybe oh, nine, okay. per stick. Yeah. But they are sold on Famous Smoke Shop. Neptune Cigars, and those are the two biggest websites that Neptune I could find them on. When you smoke a cigar once in a while, and not every day, it hits you. It does. I'm, uh, this one's hitting me a little bit. So if you're if strength, you're, but it's starting yeah. to kind of. If you're still kind of fresh to cigars, I don't. I would not consider this one. But if you're if you're kind of where I'm at, not Graham's more experienced than I am, but. You know, if you're work, where I'm at, where it's, you know, once in... I'd say we're both at the same point now. We smoke them at the same true, time pretty true. much. That's true. Although, I do have it more when I'm doing, like, yard work or... Yeah. yeah. But, pretty much. But, but it's a full flavor, so that's yeah. going to be tough, too, if you're a beginner. You're not going to be able to you're not gonna pick up on all those, no. all those flavors. No. And then the, the medium Yeah, strength. when you're starting off, don't spend 18 <clears throat> bucks on a stick, because you're not going to tell the difference. Having said that, is this something that you would purchase? Again? Yeah, I would. Um, there's other ones that I would purchase before this, but it doesn't mean this won't be in my humidor. So yeah, I, I'd purchase it again. I would too. It's not one that I'm gonna like. It's not a must-have. Yeah. But it's definitely one that I would consider. You know, keeping a couple in my uh, humidor. Mm -hmm. We still have a couple of the Maduros as well to smoke. Okay. And then uh, I picked up some Alec Bradley uh, Lost Arts. Wow. So those are probably the next few that are coming out in between some pipes. <laughs> oh! Hey! All right. <laughs> On that note, we will say cheers. This was the La Guerrera cigar, yeah, the sure. Habano. And it was good. So try it out. Let us know what you think. It's not something that you see every day. It's not one of them well-known names. So as always, don't forget to have a cigar in one hand, a whiskey in the other, and good company by your side. Until next time, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.